What's going on folks? I'm kinda Mike. Welcome back to my channel. The Epic Game Store is causing quite a ruckus in the PC gaming community as of late, and with a ton of cash in their pockets, they've set their sights on Steam, and they mean business. But they don't exactly have a lot to offer to the PC gaming community right now, and with some of their recent business decisions, they're kinda putting some people off. Um, but if they play their cards right, they just might be able to compete with the juggernaut that is Steam. Uh, so today we're going to talk about three things that Epic needs to do if they want to be competitive with Steam. Epic Games is the owner of the... Epic Games is the owner of the tremendously popular battle royale game, Fortnite. <laughs> and they're also the creators of the widely used Unreal Engine. Now, Fortnite has made them a ton of money. Um, it's estimated that Epic Games may be worth as much as $15 billion, and that money is burning a hole in their wallet. Steam, which is owned by Valve Corporation, is by far the largest distributor of video games on PC, and they've been virtually uncontested, um, well, basically since they began. Epic wants a piece of the pie that Steam has been dominating for so long, and so they're pushing hard to make that happen. So here are three things that Epic Games needs to do to compete with Steam. Number one, uh, the Epic Game Store needs to get more features. Um, as of right now, the Epic Game Store is really kind of a bare bones platform. It doesn't have most of the features that Steam users really enjoy. Oh, hey, Bill. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? Great. We got some really big projects coming down the pike. Really exciting stuff. Awesome. What kind of projects are we looking at? We're going to take the Epic Game Store to level next and compete with Steam. Oh, that's ambitious. Tell me more. Super exciting. But we got a lot to get done before we push this thing out. We got to add a lot of features like uh, achievements, user reviews, forums, cloud saves, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Listen, boss man, I hear what you're saying, but how about this? How about we forget all that nonsense you just told me, roll it out now, and start collecting that paper? That's a damn good idea. Epic just doesn't really have any of those features yet, and um, when I talk to people about the Epic Game Store, the number one reason that I've heard people don't want to use it is because it doesn't have any features. So they need to get on it. Number two, build a reputation of being for player choice. Steam has built a reputation of at least trying to put the consumer first. They give you ample information uh, to help inform you to sit your decision on whether or not to buy a game. They have a very generous return policy that basically lets you demo most any game. Um, and on top of all that, they will even let you know when games that are on your wish list are on sale um, so that you can save a buck. It makes for a good user experience. And number three, make information a high priority. The consumer works really hard to earn the money that they spend on video games, and as a company, you owe it to them to give them all of the tools that they need to make an informed purchasing decision. Um, this means good community features, forums where people can talk about the games, and a robust review system, a user review system, where people can see um, how their peers feel about the game that they're looking at. When you go to a game's listing page on Steam, the user reviews are right there at the top of the page. This is a really handy feature, and not only does it give you the overall user review score, but it also gives you a recent score, which can be handy because uh, sometimes games break after launch, and being able to see um, current feedback on how a title's performing can be very handy in making a decision whether or not you want to buy it. And if they can accomplish all of that, they still have to convince us to install yet another launcher. I hope that Epic can bring a healthy dose of competition to the PC games marketplace, but if they want to avoid being consigned to the periphery like so many other PC gaming distributors, uh, they have a lot of work to do. Lucky for them, their pockets seem to be deep enough to make it happen. What do you folks think about the Epic Game Store? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video was tight, Make sure to hit that like button, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, probably in a few days with a brand spanking new video.